Okay, so I had been meant talking about adding a an auxiliary input to my stock Ford stereo for a little while, and I finally did it. So this is a, just a quick rundown of how it's actually done. Inside of one of these, and actually I will grab my parts unit to show an unmodified one. So this is the parts unit, and in stock form, this is just the top lid. You know, this is if you've got it display side up. What you what you need to find is this connector right up here in the very corner. It's got a red and white or a orange and a white wire in it. The orange is the left channel. Make sure I've got that right. Yeah, orange is the left channel. White is the right channel. Now, if you unplug this, just to kind of imagine the signal path here. These two pins down here are the so are the internal radio sources. So the tuner or the tape deck will come through these two pins. This is what goes to the amplifier. So in order to inject our own signal, basically what we have to do is break the connection here to here. And let's go over back to our modified unit here. And I will show you what I did. So you can see I've cut these you can see I've cut these two wires and attached them to another pair. Now the wires I'm using is this is a this is what it actually looks like. It's a shielded two conductor wire. You can use a shielded four conductor, you can use a single cable that has, you know, two individually shielded pairs in it, you can use four individually shielded it probably doesn't matter that much. I would suggest either, you know, shield two shielded pairs like I have here, or a common cable with two shielded pairs in it, um, rather than just four wires all twisted together within one shield, because you might get some signal bleed. Maybe you don't. I don't know. I haven't tried it. But um, anyway, so here's our left and right signal cable. I've got red is the right, and this kind of a brown gray color uh, that is my left so this one goes out to my uh, my input jack and it happens to be color coded blue down there not for any special reason but that's what I picked these are the feeds back same thing you know right and left these wires here these are just the shields on my shielded cable I've got them in heat shrink so they don't short anything out and this is the signal ground for the amplifier. If I touch, you can hear here. That's, this is the actual power amplifier board. This feed up here is to the volume and the tone control and the balance and all that stuff. You could feed in signal back here, but then the volume control wouldn't work. So that wouldn't really be very effective. At the other end of it, I've got an input jack. This is a quarter inch jack. I suspect most people aren't going to use this. They're going to use the, uh, you know, the standard little connector, this guy, whereas I'm using that. And the only reason I'm using this is because that's the jack I had on hand. I will probably change this, but this was a uh, testing arrangement. But this was what I had on hand that fit, you know, fulfilled my needs. So what you're going to need is a jack that has a switch in it. Now, the the typical, you know, the small style, this guy here, if you get one of these jacks with the switch, it'll have five terminals on it. You'll have a ground, which is common. You'll have a right in, a right out, a left in, and a left out. Now, what you need to do is your output needs to be this pair here that goes into the board up front. The input will be from this pair here. And the way it has to work is when this is unplugged, the signal comes in and then just goes back out on the wire. So it comes out here, goes through this, back up this pair, and you've got your internal. <laughs> okay, they're playing a uh, theme from the bandit, whatever. Um, so, now if you want to use the input, 
you just have to plug it in. I'm trying to do this one-handed here. You plug it in. Now, notice we got, we don't have anything. So I'm going to plug in the old iPod here and uh, resume it. We're going to resume it. There we go. So we have that. Now watch when I unplug it. The heart is a muscle. So it works. I mean, yeah, you can get this, but I'll tell you, this sounds way better than the tape adapter. You know, everyone's seen, everyone's seen these. Everyone's got one. You know, this dude here. But the volume is a little bit louder with the tape deck. Sound quality is much better with this. So there you go. If you have one of these radios and you want to modify it, that's how you do it. It should be the same on this one. Has this one happens to say electronic. If you've got one that looks like this that says premium sound, or if you have the JBL model, it should all work exactly the same because this part up here is the same. There are some other differences in the radio. You know, this amplifier board is a little different on some of them. Some of them have the auto music search, some don't. It doesn't matter. The audio in and out on all of the all the radios that look like this is through that plug right there. So I hope this helps and uh, have a fine day.